Asian Games in Hong Kong as squash players is, uh, is, a, is a huge thing. In China this year, that's going to be a huge amount of audience. It's all about the mind more than the body, so it's going to be funny, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm Chewing Tong from Hong Kong, so uh, everyone calls me Tong on tour, but uh, I'm happy with any name that they got for me, but uh, I'm right now at top 40 in the world, uh, very happy where I'm at. I think Asian Games in Hong Kong as squash player is, uh, is, a, is a huge thing because um, it's one of the biggest uh, events for us to be able to play, uh, especially as a multi-sports event, so you get this um, representing Hong Kong team uh, like a large sense of belongingness to Hong Kong, so I think it's a great deal for me to represent Hong Kong again in the, in the Asian Games. I think the pressure mostly comes from like expectations from people, especially as in China this year. That's gonna be a huge amount of audience, um, especially like your family and friends. They're willing to go to that to China to to see your matches, and uh, you have this extra push to play better or to represent Hong Kong better. So um, I think luckily we have the team with us. I mean, it's always, we're always together. So I guess we kind of feel it, the pressure, same pressure on the World Women's Team's event. So I think we're getting used to the pressure as well. So hopefully we can deal with it better this time. I think the venue is like one of the best in, in China because as squash players, so you can dream of this playing on the glass court, and they they only have glass court there. They only have like a, they have like three doubles glass court and four to five singles glass court. So that's what you dream for as a squash player. Uh, for mixed doubles, I, we don't we don't really have uh, much match experience for as Hong Kong player because we don't have the Commonwealth Games. Unlike Malaysia or India, they have a, a large match experience, but uh, I think what we are good at is to adapt to the situation and we play at the Asia Cup, so we have a pretty much understanding of how we are at right now and uh, we're very excited because in doubles there's so much going on and you couldn't really expect the top seed to really do well. I mean, like as the lowest seed, you can also do well and, and surprise them with in the mixed doubles. So uh, really looking forward to it. In mixed doubles, it's kind of different because it's all about coordinating with your partner, having the partnership instead of taking the burden on your own. So it's kind of, um, I think will be a challenge for us and for them as well. Partnering with um, Tang, Donald Tang. So he's a lefty, so we'll, we'll both have the forehand. So it will be, I think, will be one of the biggest uh, strength of us. So, but people will be targeting our backhand as well. So, so looking forward to how, how people are going to, how we are going to deal with it. Uh, and we will be happy to step up to any challenges. Uh, generally, uh, the approach to Mexico is um, the women are always targeted and the men are really there just to cover the shots. But uh, for us, I, I would say we have a pretty uh, balanced amount covering the court. So it will be really down to how, because it's, it's kind of legal to block in, in mixed doubles, just to hit it to your body maybe. Uh, so it's kind of a tricky thing to play. So it's all about the mind more than the body. So it's going to be funny, yeah. Oh, uh, if I if we get a medal in mixed doubles or even in a team event, it will be huge. Like, like it's been postponed for a year, the, the Asian game. So it's kind of like five years of hard work. It really shows where you're at right now. One, are you Asian's best, or do you, are you able to handle the pressure? So it will be like very huge for squash in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm.